Hello everyone, welcome back to the FM Dugout and today it's People's FC once again taking on Scottish Premiership opposition so today it's Aberdeen in the Scottish League Cup third round at home um, and it's only been one game since uh, the last episode when we lost on penalties to Rangers um, and we've since had another 3 all scoreline against Berwick Rangers so I'll just go into that now, might as well Tom Walsh bagged himself a hat-trick and as a kind of to-and-fro type game um, we took the lead twice, they came back twice then they took the lead and we equalised uh, with about 5 minutes to go um, as you can see from the stats, fairly even. We actually were lower in terms of possession. Uh, shots on target, pretty much the same. But to be honest, Berwick, uh, I think the reason why they did so well, they had 82% tackles, completed or successful tackles, I guess, um, compared to us having about 67 or something. So it just seemed any time we were going forward, they would just absolutely crunch us. So they you know, played pretty well in that department. Um so I'm not too disappointed. We've still got our unbeaten run in the league and we're still sitting top uh, by one point with a game in hand. Um which we would have played I think yesterday. But obviously we've got the game against Aberdeen which takes precedence. So um what else have we got? Yes, one thing I noticed last time round, let me just go and look at the finances. So you can see here that this month we've actually had a turnover of 120,000 and our balance is now at 82,000 so that was a nice kind of surprise for me and needless to say it's come in from gate receipts so obviously the match against Rangers um, I'm not sure what the, the attendance was at that game let's take a quick look so 17,000 so we've obviously got a share of the gate receipts there and um, that's probably going to see us through to the end of the season um, Maybe we can beat Aberdeen here and get Celtic in the next round away from home. That would be nice. Um, or in the Scottish Cup. You know, who knows. But certainly, finance is looking a lot healthier. Um, there was one other thing that happened recently. Uh, I freed Gloria Natumba. When was that? Was that before the Rangers game? 7th of the 9th? When was that? No, it was just after. So he was complaining again. And to be honest, signing Orsi, I mean, I've got Walsh, Orsi and Jones, who I think um, all three of them are, are probably better than Atumba. Um So, yeah, he, he leaves us. Uh, how did he do overall? Let's, let's take a quick look. So, certainly in his first season, fantastic. Tailed off last year and hasn't started a game this season. So, natural kind of progression as you'd expect to see for a club who are moving up through the divisions you'll you'll have players leave and, and more join so um i think we'll keep this episode short and sweet and get through to today's game so let's take a look at how i've lined up today so i'm opting for the formation i ended up with against uh, st johnston in the 3-1 win and i'm hoping that it can do the same here uh, with Going with Michael Mossy in the ball winning midfielder role, just sitting in front of the back four. Uh, the two Smiths in central midfield, McCann and Katongo wide. Cameron Park is on the bench, he's a bit tired from the last game. He's not played particularly well, to be honest. Um, so, a little bit disappointed with how he started. Calvin Orsi will be our backup striker. Um, I don't know, Michael Jones, just how he was last year. I keep thinking I should give him another run. But Walsh, you know, 16 goals now and 7 starts and 1 sub appearance. You can't really argue with that, can you? Um, what else we got? Robbie Forshaw getting picked ahead of Liddington just because Liddington was tired after the last game. He'd actually played really well, got a, a great assist in that game. Um, sticking with McLean. And McKeon at the back. Sean Murray uh, played in the last game, so he's a little bit tired as well. So, yeah, I think I think this is us ready to go. Um, actually, I've just noticed our mentality. I do actually want to counter. Um, I do want to retain possession. I'll need to remember to change all this back afterwards because this is my main formation. Uh, actually, I'm just going to cancel that. 
put it back to attack and just realised they've done this completely the wrong way. What I should be doing is this formation and then pulling this chap up here and Mossy is not going to be a deep line playmaker. You're going to be a ball winning midfielder who's defending. Ewan Smith, uh, advanced playmaker and attack. We need someone in that space who's going to do something. And then a supporting role for Scott Smith and Tom Walsh will be a poacher. Okay, so I think we're good to go now. And um, let's see how we get on against our third Premiership team of the season. Obviously playing Rangers as well. It's, it's been quite hectic to be honest. Um, really Aberdeen have enough, enough about themselves to see off Peebles today. Um... Uh, doesn't really matter ok so they've gone with 4-3-3 three, three. Um, that's the same formation Rangers played I wonder if they watched that game <laughs> um, nobody fancies us no, nobody does um, we'll see what we can do though I mean we've, we've pulled off two upsets this season came pretty close with Rangers as well so uh, yeah, let's just one last check in the instructions. Retain possession. We do want shorter passing as well. Only let me list that out. Um, yes, drop deeper. Yeah, okay. So I don't want to get our back line to get caught out. They're quite slow, so we will have to drop a bit deeper. So another full house, maybe. Well, it actually, wasn't full house against St Johnson. I think there was only seven hundred people. Well done, Stuart. And Walsh must have been offside there, surely. No? I'm can Yeah, well, come on. Is the linesman making a cup of tea or something? That was... That was late. That was really late. I mean, it did look offside, so I can't really complain too much. Um, That would have been a dream start. I'm trying to see... Again, from numbers, what Aberdeen are doing, they've got 44, 43, 59, so there's probably a few youngsters that are getting a game, but um, Kenny McLean's playing there. And who's that? Amido Baldi, is it? Yep, former Celtic striker. The nice strike, but um, Markham was a bit poor there. So as you can see, in terms of the stats, they're a lot lower than they are usually. We're struggling against the better opposition here. And Baldy just running riot. So this this is the storm. You know, the first twenty minutes you've got to weather the storm and come out of it. Um, just notes Tom Walsh is a bit low, taking a knock, and he's just lost the ball. And it's a counter attack. Good challenge from McLean there. Can we now break forward? That's a terrible pass out wide. I don't know who that was to. I think they're crumbling under the pressure a little bit. Right, Scott Smith just giving it away again. Walsh picks up on it. Typical poacher, and this time it's onside, and we're one all, back in the game. I mean, we're holding our own, not too badly at all. You know, we're not um, really getting outplayed, which is really incredible considering the sort of players we've got. I don't think I would classify any of them as being uh, Premiership quality yet. A few of them maybe could in the future get that good um okay boys um what can we say uh, <laughs> i don't make his favorites to win it oh god i nearly clicked that I right clicked it um happy with your performance so far keep it up wow 11 greens that doesn't happen very often hopefully i won't have made them all complacent now and think that they've done the job because there's still a tough 45 minutes to go, or maybe longer if it goes to extra time. Okay, we're at that 60 minute mark. To be honest, I don't really see the need to change anything around. Um, I'm going to have a little shout at Robbie Forshaw, I think, telling him to complacent, tell him to concentrate. I mean, Football Manager 16, the beta is now out, and I still don't know <laughs> how these individual talks actually work with the players, if it does work at all. And I told him to concentrate, and he goes and gets booked. Brilliant. Um, right, Ewan Smith's carrying an knock. Tom Walsh is a, 
bit tired as well. So let's see what we can do. We can put Scott Lockhead in for Smith. And I think we'll go for Calvin Orsi as well. And we'll see if we could just snatch something. I, I don't know whether I might, I might change now to playing a long ball. Um, let's go route one. Yeah, okay, let's pump the ball into the box. Let's go route one and see if we can get them with a slightly different tactic with 15 minutes to go. Orsi, certainly, I mean, he scored his goal from a header, so I'm wondering whether he could maybe pop up and do it again. And is this going to be the last chance it is? There's a minute on the clock. Who's it going to fall to? Mossy loses out, and it looks as though Aberdeen are going to break. Unless we can win it back. Reynolds wide to Harris. Not being closed down. Plays it into Baldy. Back to Harris. It's looking dangerous. Back into Baldy again. Knocks it back to Flood on the edge of the box. But Lockhead with the tackle and Orsi's away. It's a counter but it's 3v3 chipped over the top. Katongo and he's put it wide. Unbelievable, that was that was the chance there. And that's the difference between a giant killing team and one that just gets the plaudits for coming close. Really should have scored there. And is that is that us? Nope, that's extra time now boys. Once again, so two episodes in a row. Um and we're getting <laughs> extra time and possibly penalties. It'd be pretty tough to go out of the, the two cup competitions we've taken part in so far from penalty shootouts um, will become the England of the Scottish Football League and we can't win a penalty shootout are we going to get a chance here Katongo to Orsi but we're vastly outnumbered but obviously that's because we're sitting here with a counter attack um, we're not going to have the numbers forward Orsi lifting it over the top for Katongo it drops for Smith to Lockhead. Forward, looking for Smith. He smashes it in the bottom corner. Right. Okay. Now, instruction time. <laughs> Retain possession and let's slow the tempo right down. Um, and we want to be more disciplined now. Let's see what we can do. We've got a long time to hold this out. We've scored in the first minute of extra time, so... There's another 29 minutes to, to hold on to this. So it could be a bumpy ride, but at least if we lose one here, which we just have, <laughs> um, then, you know, they need to score another. Okay, we'll go back to route one. Maybe it, maybe it was working. Um, pump the ball into the box. Higher tempo again. Okay. It's a pity we didn't score that goal just the other side in 90 minutes before it went to full time. Andy McLean is having an absolute shocker in defence. Um, yeah, I'll bring on Sean Murray. 4.6, that's certainly one of the lowest ratings I've seen for this team in a long time. Obviously getting blamed there for, for that goal. Okay lads, 15 minutes to go. Can we take this to penalties? Or can we even steal the game? And I think stat-wise, again, not doing too badly at all. Um, I think if I was a championship side and I was playing this way against Aberdeen, I'd be quite pleased. Uh, but given the fact we're <laughs> League 2, I think it's a, an incredible performance. And I do believe we're going to go to extra time. Uh, sorry, not extra time. Penalties. Extra, extra time. And yes, it's penalties again. Okay, don't worry, I'm not going to do the, the whole montage this time of uh, the penalties in slow motion. I think I've done that once, don't need to do it again. Okay, so Robbie Forshaw. Uh, Peter McCann, Calvin Orsi's not too bad. Jai Katongo's composed, but his finishing's rather poor. Scott Smith's finishing's all right, but his composure's not great. Lockhead missed. Lockhead, you're not getting a penalty. Not this time. Uh, do, 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 Peter McCann's in. Calvin, yeah, okay. Let's go with that. And once again, we come down to penalties. 
maybe we'll get Lady Luck on our side this time. But um, it's been a good performance from us again. We've not sat back and had no shots at goal. We've we've kind of tried to take our chances as best we can. But I can't believe Katongo missed that right at the death. If he'd scored that, we wouldn't have been here. We would have been through. McGinn steps up straight at the keeper, but I don't know what the keeper was doing. Forshaw, can he score? He does. Camley done. Who's up for Aberdeen? Jack. Ryan Jack. And he's put it away. Robbie Brown so far has not saved the penalty in seven that we've had so far this season. McCann sends a keeper the wrong way. This looks really like the Rangers game. 2 all. McLean, he scores. And this would be the point where we miss... Can Cal Orsi score? He can. 3 all. Reynolds, the centre back. He fluffs it, hits it straight at Brown. This could be our chance here. Come on, Scott. Stick it in. Nicely done. And the pressure's all in Aberdeen now. Harris has to score. And he has done. So it all comes down to Jai Katongo, I think now, is it? Yep, Katongo. And he makes amends for his miss. We're through, boys. Our third Premiership team put out of the League Cup. And the run continues. Uh, what can we say? Work the socks off. Yes. I mean, as I say, those stats, to be honest, you wouldn't see people's as being a, a League 2 side. Really, really impressed with with that performance. So, it looks as though our cup run will continue. Um, when do they do the draw? I'm not sure when they do it now. So, next round will be League Cup quarter final on the 26th of October. I think that will be the next episode. I'm not going to do the Scottish Cup second round because it's against non-league opposition, Hall Russell United. So you'd expect us to win... Um, so yes, League Cup quarter final will be the next episode for the people's journey. So guys, the giant killing of peoples continues. Uh, fantastic. Really, really pleased with that. So make sure you leave a like and a comment for this video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you come back to find out how we get on. Until the next time, I'll see you when I see you.